The number one reason that I picked Holy Spirit Prep for my grandson Bradley was because of faith. It's your eternal life that's the most important, and I want to make sure that he knows God, he can love God, and he can serve God. Like we have chapel sometimes, and you can participate in roles, and like you can be altar servers in chapel, lectors, and they have these different positions that you can do. Last year, one of our fifth grade students was diagnosed with leukemia. It was a very difficult time for everyone. My daughter and grandson and I went and visited Jake. And on that particular day, as I looked at him, I told him that I would say a rosary for him every day until he got better. And so what I found is that Jake helped me. The Holy Spirit Preparatory Community came together as a family to support Jake. The students made signs, t-shirts, wristbands, and everyone wore orange, the awareness color for leukemia, to school that day and the football game that night. At the fun run in the fall, the school recognized Jake by throwing orange powder in the air. Some of the fifth grade boys even shaved their heads to show him he is not alone in this fight. At the end of field day, we have a race. And at the end of the race, I always like to race, but like most of the other kids, they're trying to win. But we let Jake win the race. And it was, we walked with him to the finish line. God pulled through and he survived and he is striving. I feel very good about the academics and every year we're continuing to strive to do more and more to help our students, not only academically, but in life. Some of my favorite teachers would have to be first grade, Miss Gallagher. She was a really nice teacher. Currently, it's probably Miss Marshall. She helps me after school and she helps me understand concepts and she takes the time. She really. It, all the teachers, they really care about their students. I would say the thing that I love the most about the way that they teach Bradley is that they're teaching him with really sincere love and a desire to help him become the man that God created him to be. I was a health and physical education teacher. Athletics has always been a very important part of my life. And I'm very happy to say that my grandson is a very athletic young man. And he's participated in a lot of different sports here. And they do a very good job with their soccer, with their basketball, with their football. Um, Coach St. Lyon is one of my favorite coaches because he really helps us with the concepts and not all of our, he lets everyone play. And all you have to do is be obedient and he'll help you. I've always enjoyed art, and I think art comes in many different forms. For me, it was dancing and singing. I think art is an important part of education. I think it shows the children something about the spiritual and the soul, and I want to can encourage all the, the parents to let their children enjoy this and express themselves and have a good time, and I thank the teachers that are doing such a great job. The Lion King was a fun activity and I had a great experience. It taught me uh, memory because we I had some lines and then it also helped me uh, physically because I had to do a cartwheel because I was a zebra in it. And the thing that I love is it's such an open school. It welcomes you. My Nana does so many things for me in the school. One thing my grandma does every Christmas is dress up as Mrs. Claus and that always makes the little kids happy. Oh yeah, at the gala, my grandma said she'd never get me a dog, like impossible. And she got me a dog and I prayed to God and it worked. Just because they showed the picture of me and the dog, that's what got her. One of the things that I would like to invite all the grandparents to do is to come to their grade mass. I think it's such a good example for the children to see their grandparents come and celebrate with them. And then of course, there's always that wonderful opportunity of the all school masses that are held over at Holy Spirit Catholic Church. That's another wonderful opportunity for us to join our children in expressing our faith and our love for God. Another thing that we can do is come to lunch with the children. They absolutely enjoy it and their friends do too. It's amazing how much they enjoy talking with us and listening to us and hearing stories about us. The thing I love the most about my grandma is her love and dedication and her faith in God. The thing that I love about Grandparents Day is it brings back so many happy memories to me of my grandparents. And I remember the excitement of having them come to my school for tea or to see a play or to just be there and see me 
and I found that so enjoyable. And then I was always praised for all the things that I did. Grandparents have a special place in their grandchildren's hearts, and we can tell them things that sometimes their parents, they're so busy that they don't notice. So I love Grandparents' Day because we all get to get together and we all get to see our grandchildren and we all get to share our pride. They deserve more than one day, but it's one day where we can truly honor our grandparents. I was just particularly honored when they asked me to the, be the grandparent chair for this year. I believe in Holy Spirit so much and I want to support them in every way that I can.